Welcome to TRS Clips. This was created so that you can go on a binge watching experience every time you want to enhance your brain with information. Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. So mantra is basically a, a, a chant. Chant, yes, a specific divine chant through which you connect to the devata. What do you think the logic of a mantra is? So here is what we go back to the idea of the rishis. So they see the mantra. In fact, there are some mantras that will have meaning. Okay, you can make out the meaning. What is it saying exactly? And there'll be certain mantras, like Vija mantras. They're sort of like a capsule of the same energy of the deity. Bija mantra. Bija means seed. Seed. It's seed like putting mantra. a seed inside your head and becomes a plant yes. if you chant the mantra. You, exactly. That's what it is. You, you take that seed and you plant it, uh, whether it's inside your head or whether somewhere else. And then you, uh, you know, through practice, which is that the right practice is the, you, you add some sunlight, water and take care and whatever else you have to add and eventually all conditions set that can grow into a tree. So that is what is the potential of a mantra, Vija mantra. And these mantras sometimes may not even have a direct meaning uh, in the sense uh, 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 they will have what is known as a phonetic power. So by chanting it, you create an energy. That energy has a resonance with that specific deity. And this information comes to us from the rishis. Okay. Because ordinary person cannot create a Vija Mantra. Are you comfortable sharing an example of a Vija Mantra or that's a dangerous thing to do on a podcast? No, it's not. It's, uh, these days everything is open. You just Google it, you'll find all the Vija Mantras there. But to make a Vija Mantra active, to, uh, you know, to, to work on a Vija Mantra, there are certain rules. If a person is, uh, say, say, let's just, okay, let's just take an example, say, Maa Kali. Okay. So, one of the Vija Mantras of Maa Kali is Kring. But I just blurted it out. But when you are doing sadhana, when you are doing there, there are certain processes in which you, in, when you, once you take in the Vija Mantra, you're, it's like when you are doing the sadhana of the Vija Mantra, you are not to utter it out loud. To the extent they will tell you, traditional authorities will tell you that the person in front of you should not even have the faintest clue. Without uttering a word, if you can find out that what Vija you are chanting, that is fine. And there are people like that. But if you have to tell it, the moment you speak it out and something that you're serving, the energy is going to dissipate from you. Kring. That's one of the Vijas of Makali. So can anyone just start chanting? No. That? No. no. You need to be initiated. Yes, that's because uh, uh, there are these are very powerful. If you, if you keep chanting them uh, without initiation, so a lot of people may face certain, uh, you know, uh, it, may, it may trigger certain states and you will need somebody to handhold you at that time. So you don't know how to navigate this. Spirituality is not all about, you know, fun and games and etc. Because the moment there are altered states that start off, even when you're worshipping a deity, the deity may just give you some experience. How are you going to integrate that experience? How will you handle that experience? That is where the Guru is so important. It could be a negative experience? No, uh, negative experience means what? See, if you, uh, if you go into a, if you go into a fighter plane, there are G-forces that start. Somebody who's not accustomed to it, he feels very disoriented in that. Okay. So is that a negative or a positive experience? Any experience, if you are not able to digest it, it becomes negative. That's all. So I have, I'm going out with friends and having a great meal and all that. For some reason, I'm not able to digest it. It becomes a negative experience. I get a headache and some problem in the body and things like that. So that's what it is. This is where the guru is absolutely important, specifically in these cases and certain other paths also. In fact, in the Indian tradition, almost all paths will ask you to have a guru. So that when there are certain experiences, how do you safely navigate those experiences, integrate those experiences into your practice, into your mind, into your life and make it into a, give it a positive turn so that it helps you. It's like a, uh, look at an experience as like a fuel in the car. Okay. So the fuel gets into the car and then your car has to go from one place to other. For that, you will need a clarity of direction. Where am I going? You need mm -hmm. a Google map, something like that. Okay, Just a very crass example I'm giving. No. That is where your guru comes in. He will tell you from here, you have to go. You have to have complete faith on the guru. And assuming the guru is capable and you are a worthy disciple of the guru. So guru will tell you from here, you have to go this, uh, you know, this kind of mantra you are doing, uh, this kind of an experience. Uh, some mantras may create a tremendous amount of heat in the body. Some mantras may have a different effect. Some mantras may trigger dreams. Uh, there are certain upasanas that first initial stages will uh, trigger all sorts of complexes and things that you have hidden inside you. Okay, You may function as an ordinary person in the world, but there may be something or the other, some darkness inside. Darkness is not in a negative sense, 
बट वी ऑल हैव सम फियर ऑफ समथिंग ऑफ दिस और दैट कुछ भी समथिंग लाइक दैट इट में सडनली गेट ट्रिगर्ड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू नेविगेट दो स्पेसिस हाउ डज वर नेविगेट शुड द मंत्र बी रिड्यूज शुड इट बी इंक्रीज इज देर एनी एडिशनल प्रैक्टिस दैट नीड्स टू बी डन दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट तंत्र साधना Uh, there is not just one devata. So the primary deity that you worship, your ishta, we call it. The word ishta means good. He or she who does good to you is your ishta. So you worship. It could be uh, any form of uh, of the dasa mahavidyas. It could be Madurga. It could be Matara. Anybody of the uh, forms. Uh, but along with them, there are a pantheon of deities who also need to be uh, placated a little bit so that they help you in the process. Mm. Just like that, any upasana in Hindu culture. we do not start without worship of ganpati it has to be ganpati be it veda be it tantra be it anything first is ganpati you give him little bit also you do you remember him you pray to him so that he removes the obstacles in your path in the upasana that you do and the funny part is that if you are doing ganpati upasana also there also initially you start with ganpati ki okay i'll be worshiping you but so that i can properly worship you please remove any obstacles that may happen in the path so he changes his form initially as the vigna harta vigna karta who removes the remover of the obstacle and then in the center he becomes ishvara mahaganpati who is the lord of everything so your conception of he changes his energy according to your necessity if you are sincere if you enjoyed this video here's a playlist full of videos kind of related to the one that you just saw enjoy